and moving on now, based on the PIL filed by advocate uh, from Bengaluru Amritesh, the court today issued emergency notices to the central and the state government as well as the Navayuga Trust. The notice was sent by uh, the divisional bench of the High Court asking them to justify their stand on the toll fare hike at KIA. The Bengaluru advocate Amritesh had filed a PIL against the hike in toll prices at the Karnataka High Court. In his PIL, he has requested the government to take appropriate measures to ensure a service road is constructed. Well, we earlier spoke to Amritesh. Let's listen in. See, my petition is, a, first of all, it is a public interest litigation mm -hmm. because it is a burning issue and it is uh, connected to all the public who are using the national highway on uh, Kempegowda International Airport Road from Bangalore to Hyderabad Road. They are all of a sudden on third night they have raised the toll uh, fare from 30 rupees to 115 rupees. It That's is right. four times. Uh, there is no scientific method in this one and uh, there is no uh, for, uh, agreement between the government and the uh, that uh, private company. And the, it is nothing but a daylight robbery. Now, I questioned it before the Honorable High Court of Karnataka. Now, today it has came before the court and the, the Honorable Court has pleased to issue the emergent notice to the, all the respondents. And uh, also the hand summons, personal summons has to be served to the, on the respondents. After serving it, I am going to move it before the court for the interim order once again. This is the, my petition uh, before the court. Right, and also, what kind of a response are you expecting from the government? We know that uh, the chief minister had held a series of talks, uh, but that did not materialize, that did not lead to the toll being uh, ro uh, rolled back. It is very clear, especially in the state government and the National Highway Authority and the, the private company, they are all hand in glove with, uh, with them. And uh, knowing fully well, they are uh, they are making a daylight robbery of the public by escalating the uh, uh, fees from 30 rupees to the 115 rupees. Just if you can imagine. Nowhere in the country, in Chennai or in the, the new international airports are uh, came in the Hyderabad. They are not, uh, there are also the express highway is there for international airports to approach. There is no, they are not collecting the uh, fees. In Chennai also, in any other cities you can see, they are not collecting. Only here, with this private uh, organization, the government is making uh, the uh, bucks for the, their selfishness. Right. Only uh, Mr. Amritesh, now uh, we also understand that it was the BBMP's uh, responsibility to construct the alternate road which was stopped midway. So uh, have it, hasn't uh, the Palike been made a respondent in the case? No, no, I have not made the BBMP. It is only the state government uh, I have made. Mm -hmm. The state government and also central government, it is a simple question is that if I have purchased any vehicle, I am going to give the life tax okay. and also road tax. Whenever I have paid the uh, life tax and the road tax fully, it is the responsibility of the government to, to provide me a road, upper road. If it is an express highway, I am not interested to go on that one. Service road, they have to provide it. That's the ordinary right. person who are not uh, going to pay that that much of money, he has to be given the alternative uh, service road. That's that right. is not my contention. Well, the toll issue has been a major point of uh, debate in Karnataka. Let's not forget that the toll was hiked by almost 300%, which irked commuters to no end. A series of protests were held at the Sadarli toll gate on numerous occasions, but there was absolutely no effort on part of the government to ensure that there was a rollback. There were a series of talks held, but the chief minister threw his hands up in the air and said that the talks had uh, failed. What the people of uh, Bengaluru are questioning is why does only Bengaluru have to be the only city where the road leading to the is having a toll imposed on it. Apart from that, there is no alternate road for the commuters as well. So isn't it just daylight robbery for them to be expected uh, for them to shell out over 100 rupees for one round trip per day?